One mistake that you might run into once you start getting into some more advanced AdWords management is setting up too many bid modifiers. A bid modifier is an adjustment you can make to your bid amount based on a few different factors. One of them would be time of day. Another one would be geography. Another one would be device. So for example, if you find your ads are performing better on mobile devices, you might want to add a bid modifier in order to increase the bid on mobile devices and bring more traffic from people who are on their phones. The same might be true for time of day. You might find that during the middle of the day, people are buying more. So you want to add a bid modifier to the times in the middle of the day. This can become a huge problem if you're adding too many bid modifiers. Let's say you have a 100% positive modifier on mobile devices. You have a 100% positive modifier on daytime bidding. And you have a 100% positive modifier on a certain part of the country. Well, what happens with these is they actually add on to each other. So three 100% modifiers actually becomes a 300% modifier. So instead of paying $1 per click, you might be bidding $4 per click. If you really want to separate different geography out or mobile versus desktop, the best way is to split up different campaigns. You could have one campaign targeting a certain part of the country, a different campaign targeting another part of the country. You could have one campaign targeting the daytime hours, a different campaign targeting the overnight hours. You could have one campaign targeting desktop and a different campaign targeting mobile. That way you won't have to worry about crazy bid modifiers that are all added together and it gives you more control over those segments. Now, this might result in a, more campaigns. You might have a daytime desktop campaign, a daytime mobile campaign, a nighttime desktop campaign, and a nighttime mo mobile campaign. Ultimately this is going to give you the most control. Now, don't go crazy and set up 20 different campaigns just for this reason. You want to make sure that you have the data behind it and this is just going to come over time. Once you find that you need to start segmenting your campaign, that's when you can start splitting up the campaigns rather than just relying on bid modifiers.